we also received a number of offers for Blayfoa. I'm not going to divulge my de much detail on that because we're right in the middle of the process, uh, but we've targeted December to announce a transaction and we think we are well on track to announce that transaction. We're very pleased also with the type of offers that, uh, that we got. We are now in a position to responsibly hand over Blayfoa into a safe pair of hands, uh, which would obviously, I think, de-risk the, uh, the risk profile of DRD Gold quite significantly. From the perspective of uh, exposure to labor volatility, exposure to uh, uh, challenge in safety environment, uh, exposure to all sorts of other little uh, mishaps, regulatory interventions and so forth, interruptions which from time to time occur within the South African gold mining landscape or mining landscape. Then insofar as uh, uh, cautious growth is concerned, uh, at ERPM Extension 1 and 2, this is a resource that we don't talk about a lot, uh, but it's in fact an isolated pocket, isolated resource uh, away from any of the current water cavities, underground water cavities. The uh, work that we've done up until now suggests that there is a resource of approximately 18 million ounces at an in-situ grade of around 9 grams a ton. Um, it's a new order exploration right that we've secured over the area. All bodies situated between 700 and 1,200 meters underground, roughly. So it is definitely something that we want to position in such a way that we can at least get some value recognition for it. We've made an appointment of a, uh, an executive into the organization. Uh, one of the, we, we actually managed to get him into the organization by saying that there are gonna be four components to his portfolio. I think he's since realized that it's closer to 40, but this is number one on the list. He has to optimize this asset and take it up the value curve. And we want to be in a position in February to say to the market, this is how we're going to be positioning the asset. Of course, we get the question, uh, but you're moving out of deep level underground into recycling, what are you doing with this? The fact is, the government gave us this license a few years ago. We have to take it up the value curve and then position it uh, for, uh, for unlocking a value. Uh, we won't have the expertise, I believe, to really develop a new underground mine in South Africa, but we certainly do have the expertise to at least say to the market, this is how much we think it's worth. And do you want to uh, come in, participate in the asset, and, uh, and run with it?